This vid is directed towards the PS3 fanboys, these rabid fanboys. This vid is not directed towards PS3 users. Much like my 360 Weibo vids weren't directed towards the 360 owners. First off, to the people that stand behind me and support me, you know where I'm coming from with this shit because this is just downright sensitive fanboys running the muck on YouTube and it's sickening. When I stopped making vids on the console war, there was a reason why I stopped. I got tired of catering to these little sensitive fanboys who would always praise me and how great I am, but then when my boys bought a game for the 360, they went out and got their panties in a bunch, and then they started crying like little bitches in my videos, like, you shouldn't do them, you shouldn't support them. Over a fucking simple game purchase. And I know people are going to be like, you still talking about this? It's been a... No, it ain't over. The after effects are still fucking being felt now because you sensitive fanboys on everyone's videos still crying about it. And then your excuse at the time was, well, it's not a 50 body for the 360. It's just the manner in which they make a video. That shows your fucking sensitivity right there. The bottom line is, and I'm in pain right now, Percocets, man, because I fucked up my sciatic nerve. Anyone ever had that problem, you know what I'm talking about. But anyway, the bottom line is, you people are so fucking sensitive about a piece of fucking plastic. And the sad thing is, the people out there that had brains, they knew that everything I did on this channel was all about entertainment. They knew I was just being entertaining when I did this shit. I never gave a fuck about the console war. That's the facts. I never gave a fuck about it, not one bit. And yet you had people on the PS3 side that went to websites, searched up statistics and numbers, who are middle-aged and failed miserably, while I owned the entire other side without even giving a fuck. Now why is that? It's because I'm a beast that doing what I do. And that fool over there just made a fool out of himself in a complete mockery of himself. Never gave a fuck about the console war. Console war is for nerds. It's people that have no lives. They sit on YouTube 24-7 making comments about a piece of fucking plastic. You think a man of my stature would get involved in that? I made it entertaining. And then, man. PS3 fan was running rampant about that. If that game was on the 360, you guys would be ripping it apart, calling it a piece of shit. Graphically horrible, this and that. But no, since on PS3, you PS3 fanboys think it's the fucking savior of the system. Since when did the PS3 need saved? It's rather embarrassing. And here's the thing about the Weebles, which makes you guys a step below them. The Weebles are generally teenagers. You guys are adults. Sensitive middle-aged adults. And most of you are about 22 to 25. Console War fanboys, fanboys in general, are the dumbest motherfuckers on YouTube. If something's out there better than what you have and you don't buy it, and you have the money to buy it, you're penalizing yourself. The last time I checked, I ain't in the business of penalizing myself. If Mag was on the fucking 360, you'd be ripping it apart. The game is horrible. You guys can like it, I don't, it's horrible. You guys can make fun of Modern Warfare 2 all you want, I don't give a fuck. I don't even like Modern Warfare 2, but there's no other shooters to play right now. And I know you'll say Killzone 2, guess what? There's a reason Killzone 2 didn't sell well, people. When they released that beta with them fucked up weighty controls, that scared away potential buyers of that game, and you know that's true. See, 95% of the people that play games are casual gamers. They don't want controls like that. If that game was released with regular control sensitive, that game would have sold 10, 15 million copies, because it truly is a masterpiece if the controls were better. Like I said, when you played that game, you felt like you were on that battlefield. Controls ruined that game. We all know this. So, man, for real, I hate fanboys in general. I can't stand it. They're the weakest form of minds I've ever come in contact with. But lately, ever since that Modern Warfare 2 video, the Sony fucking sensitive fanboys have been ruining this internet. They've been crying up a storm, a river, all over this place. I had a guy earlier today talk about how I'm a weeble because I made fun of these Sony fanboys. I'm a weeble? <laughs> I don't own a 360. I did it one time, but I got rid of it. I ain't into that console shit. I ain't into that shit. If the Xbox, new Xbox came out and it was better than the tray, I'd buy it. I don't give a fuck. I'm not a fanboy. I'm just a beast at doing what I do. So to the Sony fanboys, you guys need to wake the fuck up. It is a car, it's a piece of plastic. It ain't real life. And quit trying, quit being so sensitive over someone's video and a damn in that room in a chair. It's fucking sad. It is fucking sad. You cry about people on the internet all day because they make a video bashing your game. It's pathetic.
It really is sad and pathetic. Like I said, you might like Mac. I don't like it. Big deal. Big fucking deal. Make fun of Modern Warfare 2. It's funny though, you can make fun of it all you want, but it is, I think, the highest, the most played game on the PSN right now on Xbox 360. There's a reason why, people. It's a good game. But make fun of it, I don't give a fuck. So you fuck, uh, Sony fanboys need to wake the fuck up and realize this shit is just a fucking entertaining console war. That ain't entertaining no more because you guys have ruined it with your butthurt comments all over the fucking place. Shut it off. Yeah. And hey, to the people out there that used to back me, now they hate me, they used to love that shut it off. Now they're like, he's just talking to himself. There's no fucking fanboy there. There's no camera guy there. Give me a fucking break, man, for real. You guys have been exposed, seriously. Can you redeem yourselves? I doubt it. Because when you're a sensitive middle-aged fanboy, that means you've already lost in life. You've already lost in life. Like I said, to the people that support me 100%, you know where I'm coming from with this video. This is not meant to the normal PS3 owners. It's just meant to the fanboys. I hate fanboys in general. That's why I named the Weebles the Weebles. I don't hate 360 owners. I hate fanboys. That's what my whole channel was predicated on. And now, I'm changing direction again.